Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insaney, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's why you're here, and that's what this is, and that's why this show exists. Because I needed something to do with comedy music, not like I didn't have enough to do with comedy music anyway. Now, I've said the word comedy music so much, it's lost all meaning. Anyway... If you're new here, hi, yes, hello, I do comedy music, and I react to stuff from the perspective of somebody who also does comedy music. Comedy music reactions. It's a thing now. Uh, that means that I pause the videos, kind of often actually, so that I'm not talking over the jokes in the songs, speaking over them. Sometimes it means I'm discussing the jokes, sometimes I'm discussing how, how well... It works with the video, doing analysis on the joke, stuff like that. And sometimes it means I'm just sitting back and laughing my full head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good, good time either way. It's not a good idea, but, you know, I have a lot of fun doing it. It's a good idea for me. It's fun. Uh, if you do like this sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, Consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way to say, this week I am reacting to two songs by Brian David Gilbert, Don't Tell Your Wife About This Game, and I've forgotten the name of the other song already. It's in the title. You'll see it. And when I get to it, I'll remember it. I've been filming a lot of these back-to-back -to, -back to get my backlog out of the way. I've been sitting on these videos to react to them for a while now, and all of that at once, brain went away. Anyway, that'll make for a fun video. Let's dive in. It's... So that was the thumbnail of this video, is him turning around over his shoulder. That's very meta. Don't tell your wife about this game. Halo Alpha on the HaloFandom.com? I don't know why this song's, this video's there. Alright, it's fine. Don't tell your So I think this is about all those really questionable mobile game ads that seem to be a bit more illicit than one would expect a mobile game to be. Sometimes there's ads that, like, it's a simple pull-the-pin game, but there's, like, some sort of weird love triangle involved in it that has absolutely no bearing on the actual gameplay or plot, but it's in the trailer. Why Why not? And everyone's scantily clad, and it's just making... None of it makes sense. There's so many ads for such weird little games, probably in heavy quote marks. That's that's what we're referencing here. I, I dig it. Yes, it's a great thing to make a song about. Comedy songs, like I said, they can be about anything. This is a sad <laughs> there are times in a life that you're living in tandem when it's best to keep some secrets I feel like the first part of that song before the there are times in a life that you're living in tandem all the lyrics before that point were just titles of those videos. Like, he just took all those clickbaity titles and just put them in the song. Unedited. That, those, that, that's how all those ads were presented to him, and he just lifted that and used them as lyrics. That's what it feels like. And if so, that's genius. It's great. When it's best to keep some secrets unsure. So I guess you've got to play them alone. 
and most people just use the cell phone with one hand. That's a... I shouldn't have made that reference. This is not two videos in a row, but two videos in me recording in one session where we've brought up masturbation jokes. Comedy is funny. And the controls are precise And the gameplay loop feels so nice And you'll find you will mind the experience rhyme Cause it's well defined and concise Really great rhyme scheme going through there. And also, uh, nice to see that uh, Brian David Gilbert's uh, work at Polygon is continuing with songs like this. Again, musical comedy, comedy music about video games, something that I really enjoy. Uh, ben Vicini last week, we had some songs about that, and now we have this. It's my bread and butter, it's the kind of thing I do and I enjoy watching as well, so yeah. And it'll remind you of all the games you and your wife used to Time has died because you haven't tried in two years, so I start to <laughs> Wow. You can do anything in this game. Yeah, the chorus hook is the clickbait titles. What what was the other one there? IQ test? What's your IQ? Eunuch. Uh, commercial grade high lift capacity. My husband loves the shorts I bought him a few days ago. Why is that an article name? That's what. It's just weird grammar to be an article title. It's the way. That's the world we live in now. Uh, but yes, all the clickbait ads and video titles being the chorus of this song. That's great. That's so great. The choices you make by the end game, you feel so strong, and the in app purchases are. I love backing vocals that also are jokes in comedy songs. Just even echoing a line that came before it, if it's just one word and it's just a weird word to have be repeated in a chorus backup singer voice, strong! Just that's inherently funny. It's just funny. You'll be so strong. Strong! Just, uh, that, that's great. I love that kind of thing. It's so simple, but it works for me almost all the time. Not pay to win. <laughs> we, need to, we need to go back to that. That's great. Game, you feel so strong. And the in-app purchases are not pay to win. Oh. So yeah, no no pay to win in these games. You're just going to get right down to the sexy stuff. You won't have to pay to get to the sexy stuff. These games are a scam. In a for granted relationship disenchanted Haven't had a real talk in so long Whoa. All the intact hurt just makes the love feel too thin Because when you said I do You didn't do it with enough follow there's some sort of brutalness going on with this. <laughs> wow. And though the match has been made, the text that's displayed says you're still in the queue. And you will find any explanation to keep your mind from the truth. The truth. That you better have treated your better half better, but you're too sad. Wow. That you used to laugh together when you saw a very bad mobile game ad. Like the ones in the song. Genius. And you refuse to look at the guy because you think you're way too smart. <laughs> and the build that you built together is falling apart. If I get stuck, I'm looking at a guy. That's just how it is. I have no shame in the game there. GameFAQs is there for a reason. GameFAQs is actually probably not there anymore. But people make video walkthroughs. Somebody has to watch them. Sometimes I'm the one who gets stuck and I watch them. People making stuff for Tears of the Kingdom already. Thank you. I'm sometimes not smart enough for games. And it's no shame. I still have fun playing them. If I get stuck, I use it. 
Don't use it until I get stuck, though. I'm not just, like, walking in and, like, all right, this is the name of this thing. I haven't even looked at it yet. How do I do it? No, I'm not doing that. But sometimes guides are okay. No problem with that. The metaphor is getting muddled here, though, is what I'm saying. Is, uh, you want to go back to the previous say, but you're too proud to restart. Are you talking about a game still? Or are you talking about the relationship that you want to go back to how things were with your wife when you used to laugh at these ads together? The, the similes are, are, your metaphors are getting muddled. Everything is, is, you're describing a game, but also the relationship and it's, which is which now anymore. Comedy. A beautiful song, a little confusing, but also very funny. Just like it's so melancholic and yet funny about what it's describing. That's great. This page will open in another hour. You're you're you're, you're downloading sexy matchup. Which is going to be a match three game that, you know, whatever, you know, it's, it's kind of like sexy matchup. You can see like all the, the pieces that are puzzle pieces in the thing. That took, like, the production quality in the video is great because it's looking at a bunch of screens, but there's also, you know, we put the ad in, in the midst of actual real ads, and you've got the game screen on the Apple Store that it's switched to that looks like an actual game screen of something you might download. Great production quality in that. Bravo. Bravo. They're patrons, too. Uh, bravo to... Uh, let's go back to this. Jonas Scott for the music and Karen Hahn uh, for shooting the video. Excellent work, everyone. Of course, Brian David Gilbert for writing the lyrics and performing the song as well. Excellent, excellent stuff. Now on to the next video. Uh, BDG has a whole playlist of songs. Welcome to the Neighborhood. That was the name of the song. I couldn't remember it, but we got here anyway. Uh, yes, Welcome to the Neighborhood is the next song. If you read the title, it was there already. Um, one second. We're running out of power, and I don't feel like pausing. This will be seamless. No one will notice. Nope. That'll be great. Look at that. Barely a change. I'm a professional. Anyway... Next video, Welcome to the Neighborhood. Welcome to the neighborhood. You just moved in? I saw the truck outside and brought over some cookies to meet you. Is this, it's some sort of game, I'm gonna turn the captions off because the game, this already has captions. Um, it's set up like a game screen. This is the text block of the interaction. More video game stuff? Hopefully, we'll find out. I'm a member of the Homeowners Association, and if you need anything, I'm just down the street. You might want to peruse the HOA pamphlet. There is a lot in it, and I don't mean to overwhelm you. <laughs> Going into the inventory, house keys and news. You looking for something to just shoot this person off? I don't know. They're going to hand you cookies that's going to go into the inventory, the HOA thing. We'll find out. That's great. You might want to peruse the HOA pamphlet. There is a lot in it, and I don't mean to overwhelm your first day, but the backyard needs a little yep. PLC. The weeds are right up to the property line. Yep, yeah, the HOA pamphlet and the cookies went into the inventory. Oh, good. More game stuff. I love this.
That's not okay. And hey, just so you know, Precious <laughs> Wednesday's not Tuesday night. It's page 10 in the pamphlet, and I know it's a lot to get right. And the light in your bedroom, it's always on past two. Are you sleeping okay? Is there something I can do? Is it your sheets? I saw the thread count is low. We recommend something higher, page 19, just so you know. It's, it's a song, but it's not a song. Like, he's not singing the lyrics, but they do rhyme, and they are metered out in the way that it's, you know, with the tempo of the song, and it's kind of matching the music, but it's not being sung. It's it speaks singing. It's what Richard Harris does in My Fair Lady. Um, so, yeah. No, <laughs> the, the film version. Uh, yeah, no, I... This is very funny. Why would the HOA have anything about your bed's sheets thread count. That's invasive and weird. That shouldn't matter to the HOA, the Homeowners Association, for those of you who may not know what an HOA is. Not all neighborhoods have them. Thankfully, uh, mine doesn't, uh, because uh, sometimes they are a little intrusive about property lines and your bushes being too close to them and how often you put out your, your cans at night. Uh... I just moved, so some of this seems prescient. Uh, it's fine, but uh, it setting it up like a game is very funny to my mind. Let's just take a look at these bedding recommendations. Sleep is rejuvenating and important to good neighborly conduct. As a community member, it is right to focus heavily on your sleep routine. Here are some Driscoll Grove recommendations. Driscoll Grove must be the community in which you're living. Recommendations for developing a comfortable and appropriate sleeping environment. Sheets, no less than 400 thread count. Cotton is acceptable, but not advised. Bed size twin XL is recommended. All right, not not queen or king. Do not purchase a California king. That's too big. That's invasive. Weird. And the shows you watch are scary, far too violent and grim. We haven't watched <laughs> things like that since I moved in. Wow. So the the president of the HOA has shut down any movies like that. You you can't watch that. It's it's been like that since I've been here. So. Uh, man. Uh, you watch are scary, far too violent and grim. We have bathroom recommendations, recommendations, baths are rejuvenating, <laughs> important to good neighborly conduct, that's familiar. Uh, right to focus heavily on your bathing routine, here's an image representing the optimal bath layout. That's, uh, that's a lot of string, correct cabling, blue nourishing light. Why in the bathroom? Ugh. Haven't watched things like that since I moved in. And again, Wednesday morning, the garbage goes out and... Drought feeds wildlife fires? Man. There's a meeting tonight. Come see what we're about. And I canceled your subscription. Why pay for the news? <laughs> meeting tonight. Come see. Broken promises. City council under investigation for missing funds. There's so much, like, intrigue in the little things in the background. Little details. I love that kind of thing. About, and I canceled your subscription. Why pay for the news? And this door should be repainted. You can pick from these hues. Let's take you can pick from these hues of blues. It's all. It's a rhyme he could have used and didn't. Used. Everything rhymes. Ah. No. Uh. This is already <laughs> hilarious. The news has been replaced with HOA news. Um. The. Just everything about this. Like. It's such an invasive homeowners association. It's a very relatable thing because homeowners associations can be like that sometimes. Your subscription. Why pay for the news? And this door should be repainted. You can pick from these hues. Wednesday morning. Okay, you did it again. You must sneak it out so late. I'm usually in bed by ten, and your garage is unacceptable. This floor has some cracks, and we don't allow bonfires. So what's with the axe? This neighborhood is <laughs> really tight knit, and I just thought you'd want a bigger part. In it. We're awfully friendly. I don't care for vice. I wasn't lying when I told you that. It got dark. Nice to meet you. I just moved in. Forgive my wet appearance. It's just good for the skin. I hear the HOA's a way for us new neighbors to meet. So if you need anything, I'm always just down the street. So, axed them, drowned them. They've resurfaced. Yikes. Uh, all right, Brian. That was... I don't know what game that is, but I kind of want to play it. I don't want to live it. I don't want to actually have that happen with an HOA in my neighborhood or anything. But I'll play that game. That's that's something Markiplier or Jacksepticeye would have fun with. I feel like that. All right. That was, that was impressive and scary and awesome. 
And thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. Of course, you can see these videos without me talking all over them. Links are in the description below. And if you really want to help my channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon. What patrons, like these over in the credits over here, get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, exclusive reactions, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye. Mark Burger Cat Photographer Mark Burger Cat Photographer Mark Burger Cat Photographer He takes photos of his cat Mark Burger Cat Photographer Mark Burger Cat Photographer Mark Burger Cat Photographer He takes photos of his cat Mark's a real nice guy, it's true Sometimes fosters